ready? Yeah. Is it rolling? Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Let's take a look inside a 50K luxury home cinema. Hey guys, it's Louis here from Smart Home Sounds and we've got something a little different for you today. Today we're going to be taking a look inside a brand new luxury 7.2.2 4K Dolby Atmos home cinema worth over £50,000. We're going to be covering everything from the audio equipment to the screen, projector, lighting, controls, paneling and even the seating to give you a full overview of what a room like this will cost. We will touch on the products but this is more of an overview video so we won't really be going into much detail about all of the equipment and design as designing a home cinema can get very technical. Before we get stuck into talking about this home cinema setup, it's important to mention that there are, of course, a lot more expensive and larger home cinema setups, as well as smaller and more affordable setups, depending on available space, budget, and other factors. It's worth mentioning this room was created by Inside Out Technology, who we would highly recommend if you're looking for a bespoke home cinema setup, similar to this, as these guys really know what they're talking about. I'll put a link below if you want to check them out. Of course, if you are looking to install something on a smaller scale, please get in touch with us and we can help with the full specification. Now, this is a slightly different video in comparison to our usual content. So if you want to see more videos like this, perhaps with even more premium, high-end and expensive setups, then please let us know in the comment section below. And don't forget to leave us a like and subscribe whilst you're down there if you haven't done so already. We're trying to diversify with some new content on our channel to give you guys a reason to subscribe. So if you enjoy this video, please make sure you do so. I'll also just point out that the pricing on this kit might vary depending on where you're getting it from but this should give you a rough idea of costing. So let's first of all talk about the dimensions of the room so we know what sort of space we're working with. The total width of the room is about four meters and about five and a half meters in length. About three and a half meters back we've got this raised rear platform which is just under half a meter high. Now one of the problems that we do see with narrower home cinemas when they're being designed are problems with line of sight. So having a raised rear platform means that people watching from the back have got a clear view of the screen without being obstructed by people sat at the front. So one of the things that is very obvious but really important is that this room is very dark when all of the lights are turned off so it just helps to add to that cinematic viewing experience. There was actually a window positioned here that is obviously now being blocked off so it prevents any natural light coming into the room. Okay, so to start with, let's discuss the audio setup in this home cinema. The client decided to go with a 7.2.2 speaker setup. So essentially, that means that we've got three speakers hidden behind this 10 foot screen, which we will come back to in a little bit more detail later on. We've then got two speakers, one on either side of the room, and those same two speakers are also used at the rear of the home cinema setup. And then we've got two Voice of God speakers in the ceiling, and also two subs. We've only got one today, but positioned at the front of the room. Tucked behind the 10 foot acoustically transparent screen, we have three vertically positioned Bowers & Wilkins CWM 8.3D speakers with three CWM 8.3 back boxes, which means behind this screen, we have a total of 11,415 pounds worth of audio equipment and for very good reason. The Bowers & Wilkins CWM 8.3D speakers are top of the range in more speakers. And there's a number of reasons why the client opted to go for these over any other models. First and foremost, they produce fantastic sound quality, regardless of whether you listen to your music or just enjoying your movies. But one of the main deciding factors with going with these speakers is they are quite slim. So as this isn't necessarily a very long room and the client wanted to maximize the amount of seating area and space inside the room, going for these slightly thinner speakers made the most sense. It's also worth mentioning that although expensive, the back boxes are crucial to maximizing sound quality out of these speakers. They're also over a meter and a half tall, which is something you need to consider consider when thinking about building out your home cinema room. So moving from the front to the sides, on either side of the cinema room behind the acoustic paneling are two Bowers & Wilkins CWM 8.5 in-wall loudspeakers and two back boxes, which is exactly the same combination that the client has also had installed at the rear of the room. So in terms of costing for the speakers at the side of the home cinema and at the rear, we're looking at £1,575 per speaker, £570 per back box. So that means there's a grand total of 
80 pounds worth of audio equipment at the sides and at the rear of this home cinema setup. So moving back to the front of the room just quickly, to support those lower frequencies, we've got the Bowers & Wilkins DB4S subwoofer. And we would normally have one of these positioned at either side of the room, but we've only got the one with us today. Now, the fantastic thing about this speaker is not only does it produce some fantastic bass, but it can also be tuned to the room in the Bowers & Wilkins app. So to round off the audio setup in this home cinema, the voice of God speakers are the Bowers & Wilkins CCM662 in-ceiling speakers, which produce remarkable clear and dynamic sound which helps to create an incredibly immersive Atmos home cinema experience. They're £750 for the pair and what's really nice is that they've been sprayed to match the same colour as the ceiling which is a really nice touch. And finally, to power this fantastic home cinema setup, behind me in this cupboard here, we have the Anthem MRX 1120 amp for £4,000. The MRX is essentially an AV receiver that can deliver up to a full 7.2.4 channel immersive audio experience from a single box with the inclusion of Dolby Atmos DTSX support and HDMI 2.0. Despite having since been replaced by the 1140, which is available for a similar price, the 1120 version we have here delivers a fantastic performance with films and and equally impressive performance with music. Having Dolby Atmos was a key feature for the client and after having listened to Atmos content in this room, the level of immersion is just fantastic and we were really, really impressed. So in total, the audio equipment in this room comes to a very impressive £27,545. So now let's take a look at the visual side of things and we're gonna start by taking a look at this screen. This is a 10 foot wide woven ISF certified acoustically transparent screen worth 2000 pounds and has an aspect ratio of 16 by nine. Without getting way too technical, ISF certified essentially means that the reproduction of color and black levels is extremely accurate and the material maintains a neutral appearance without color cast, even as the projected lighting changes, which helps to achieve amazing contrast ratios. It does get far more complicated than that, but all you really need to know is that an ISF screen offers a stunning viewing experience. Now, other home cinema users might prefer to go with a different aspect ratio, but as this particular client watches a lot of sport, movies, and a variety of other content, going with an aspect ratio of 16 by nine in a slightly narrower room made the most sense. So now let's move to the back of the room and take a look at the projector. So here we've got the Sony VPL VW 590ES 4K SXRD projector sold for £6,999 and offers a truly incredible cinematic experience. So this particular projector is one of Sony's newer 4K models. Now the client was actually considering going with a laser projector, which is a little bit brighter, but due to the lack of natural light anyway in this home cinema setup, the client decided to save a little bit of cash and go for this particular projector so then we could spend a little bit of extra money elsewhere. So the cost of the screen and the projector combined comes to a total of £8,999. So we've covered the visual and audio side of things, so now let's take a look at the lighting. As you can see, we've got spotlights up in the ceiling as well as two wall lights. A nice feature that the client requested was lighting here on the steps, which really adds to the cinema feel as well as being a practical addition. All the lighting circuits are controlled via Control 4, which lets you create scenes, dim the lights, and plenty more from a dedicated control panel or handheld remote. And what's even cooler is every device is connected to Control 4. If you press the middle movie button on the in-wall keypad, it will turn the cinema equipment on and dim the lights to go off at exactly the same time as the projector is fully warmed up. As the lights and AV are fully integrated, when you switch the room off, all the equipment will turn off and lights will turn on for you to leave the room. Now, all of these little features aren't necessary, but it's nice to see what's possible. The overall cost of the lighting in this home cinema setup is around about £2,000, which includes the fittings, three circuits of controlled lighting and the keypad. Moving on to control, the client opted for control four equipment, which along with the programming and touchscreen cost around 3,000 pounds. Simply, the control four processor or brain, if you like, is connected to all the AV equipment, which allows control of the room from a smart remote, touchscreen or iPhone and iPad. This is very simple usage of Control 4 and its capabilities are very long and it is used to automate your whole home. Now this is something you will need to get done by a Control 4 certified programmer and the cost can go down or up depending on how you want to control the system and the level of programming you require. So unlike other home cinema setups, this one is finished in head to toe with acoustic paneling 
finished by Calico Interiors, which I will link below. For the client, acoustic paneling was really important. Not only does it dramatically enhance the immersion in here and maximize the sound performance by helping deaden unwanted bass notes and acoustic reflections, but it also ensures that sound doesn't leak from the cinema room into the rest of the house. You can listen to a loud action movie in here without having to worry about annoying everyone else in the house or keeping kids awake if there are habitable rooms above. The client opted for blue wool fabric, which is wrapped around these panels, which have the acoustic foam underneath. The cost of the acoustic paneling in this cinema room was £9,000, but the cost can of course go up or down depending on the design, style and type of finish. So one thing that's really important in a luxury home cinema is comfortable seating, so I think I better test this out. One thing that's really important in a luxury cinema room is seating. There's no point in spending all this money on an incredible setup not to be comfortable when you're sat watching a film. These sofas are from Quattropi and altogether cost £5,000. As you can see, you've got this owl-shaped sofa at the back and then we've got these two lounger chairs here that works great. This setup has been designed for a family, so everyone's got their dedicated seats, but there's obviously room across the back to accommodate more people. I can confirm these seats are very comfortable, especially these ones at the front. The placement of seating is also really important and a key factor to bear in mind. These seats are about three and a half meters from the screen, which is about as close as you'd want to get. Now seating is obviously gonna come down to your personal preference in terms of design, finish, layout, and all that kind of thing. And obviously it's also gonna depend on the size of your room. However, I really like the use of going with the sofa and the combination of these lounges down front. And I think it works really well, especially for a family home cinema setup. So there are a couple of extra little features that we really wanna show you guys. First of all, we've got this aircon up here. We're not including that in the pricing, but this unit does do both hot and cold, which is great for regulating the temperature in this room. At the back here, we've also got a hidden cupboard behind this panel. So if I take this off, we've got the rack in with all of the AV equipment in. Even though all this equipment is controlled via Control 4, it's always important to ensure you've got easy access to the racking in case someone needs to get in there and make any changes. Hiding it behind the panel was a neat way of keeping it hidden and not detracting from the aesthetics of the room while ensuring we've got access. The cupboard is also vented to allow the equipment to stay nice and cool. So all of these little extras like the racking, Apple TV and cabling came to around about a thousand pounds. So I think that just about wraps up our tour of this luxury home cinema. As we've said, there are so many options for home cinemas working with all different types of budgets and different room sizes. As this is a slightly different video in comparison to our usual content, if you've enjoyed this home cinema overview and would like to see more like this, then please let us know in the comments section below. And don't forget to leave us a like and a subscribe whilst you're there. For any more information or support with the products mentioned, please do get in touch with a member of our team. And don't forget, we've also left links below to all of the companies, including Inside Out Technology in our description box below. Thank you guys all very much for watching and we'll see you next time.